Hello everyone, my name is Kitty Yells Gamer and welcome to The Wolf Among Us. This has been in my wish list on Steam for the longest time and I only just bought it. I think the storyline's a little, you know, adult, so <laughs> let's just find out. I'm excited to play this. It's I love games like this. Connecting. Connecting to what? I know this came out a long time ago and I only just got it. But I've avoided everything about it. I don't want any spoilers. And that's really hard, you know? Okay. I'm gonna play. Love the art style. Episode 1, okay. Let's go. Well, wrong one. <laughs> I will do that. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Doing lots of waiting. I waited so long. Come on now. The game series adapts to choices you make. The story is tailored, 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 that's a new word, tailored by how you play. I'm excited. Come on. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. No. Through the use of magic, of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Bigby? Are you related to Digby? <laughs> it is Telltale. I've been there. It's very pretty. Even when it's raining. I had Stacy too. We're in the taxi. Yeah, I knew it was nothing like that when me and Mama Gamer went. <laughs> Liquor. Convenient. To the Bahamas? That's cheap. You big B, I assume? Terran building, South Bronx, sometime after midnight. Okay. So. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. <laughs> big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. I don't know why it's pressed. Me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Are those tadpoles? Get it fixed. Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. Okay, foul language, there. maybe. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Head upstairs, why not? <laughs> oh, thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. Oh. This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. 
So what set him off? Who knows what I know. this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. <laughs> Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. New book of fables and she's unlocked. Okay, good. Prick up shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. Oh great, it's gonna be one of these parents. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, what we gotta do then? You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Is it just like Batman? Okay. What's this? Matchbook? Pick up? Why not? What's this? What's inside? Matches, I assume. Things you pick up can be useful no, later. Oh, not. okay, good. Hey, phone? Let's look at the phone. Get off of me. Okay, that's our... Good boy, Big B. What's this? Anything here? No, apparently not. A door? Not knock. Very polite. Damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! Alright, why you hit? <laughs> What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Again. Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last you time. You kiss your mother with that mouth? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, shit. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, uh... Let's do the same, why not? Oh! Uh oh. I've never played a game like this before. Ah! I'm not used to PC. Uh oh, uh oh. Charge him, yeah. Oh! Yeah, clearly. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, in there, why not? Alright, let's do this. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that cannot be good. It's self defense. Here we go. Of the injuries that will be protruding, I don't even want to think about. Uh oh. Oh no, oh, there's the axe again. This guy just doesn't quit, does he? Oh, Q, 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 Q. Don't turn on caps. Oh shit, no. Another reason to quit drinking. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. Oh, All right. Fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard! And 
Still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. Maybe later. Shit. What, what happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry. You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Look, yeah. this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky dory. Thanks for asking. Are you hurt? Seriously, I need to know if you're okay. We gotta care. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. Oh, oh the woodsman, yeah. Riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you Throw stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice, or you wait out. Yeah, they're taking fairy tales to a whole new level here. <laughs> Still there? This is why I prefer Disney. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help. Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. All right, well. All right, kill, 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 kill. Oh, not nice. Okay. Oh no, come on! I'm pressing Q! I'm pressing Q! What's going on? Alright, the wolf. Ew. Thanks. I don't know your name. New book of fables unlocked. Great. Jeez, that guy's got a thick skull. Oh, I spoke too soon. Thanks. Thanks. You can keep the money. Don't I don't. Mention. I'm. I'm not looking. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? Well, you might as well take all of it. Your huh? eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. He should have thrown it away. It's better than nothing. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> uh, I could. Oh, uh, why not? Having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing, Fable. Good, good, good. Never mind. Suppose it is. That's no way to live. Just come on. Oh, we got the matches. Give her the matchbook. Here. 
Thanks. We got a new friend now. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. <laughs> Why not? Beautiful. I hope that doesn't mean something else, Thank but you. yeah. Sure, remember that. Yeah, it's a nice compliment. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. Did we? Things change, I guess. I guess. And he's gone. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Mm, he hit you? He hit you. He needs to pay for that. He's yeah. got nothing to give, Sheriff. I checked. Besides, kind of already did, like, I, I didn't know why I chose that. I'd say we're even. Maybe I should be arresting you. I'm not going to be doing this for much longer. So, now's your chance. Oh, jeez, a pupil's dilated. That's not good. Oh, it's back to normal. Aw. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Do it, do it. Be the good guy. See, I've got, uh, it's 20, 47, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. We need friends. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Every <laughs> woodlands. <laughs> Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I, oh, I'm too late. It's gonna leave a mark. Oh, oh you like it, don't you? <laughs> Come on, be friends. Hey, I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. No. Oh. I'll see you around. Are you a tart with a heart kind of character? We never let your name either. Please don't tell me it's Red Riding Hood. Ish. Red is definitely a key word there. Hey, what now? Okay. First impression. I like it and I've got an achievement already. Telltale Gameplay Presents. Yeah, have the credits at the beginning. The Wolf Among Us, we already knew that from them. When we started the game. So, the impression I'm getting is the sheriff who's looking after everyone is the big bad wolf. Who probably has a bad rep. But that lady is encouraging him. 
say, no, you're not bad. We trust you. We look up to you. So who's do we give him this? The Woodland Luxury Apartments. You live here? Alright, what have we got? Can we do anything? Over here? What's this? Enter. Look at. Luxury Apartments? Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Advertise, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Let's go through. Tables created by Bill Willingham. Okay, what else we got? What's this? Is what is that? Is that a plaque? Stay off the grass. <laughs> Sometimes be a disciplinarian. Uh -huh. Okay, I need a. Oh, where's a? Okay, it's paused. How do I? How do I? I need to call, put the music down because I can hardly hear us. Uh, escape. Here we are. Okay. Settings. Video. Oh, subtitles. That would be handy. Okay. Master volume. No. Went the wrong one. There we go. Okay. No. There. That'll do. Let's go. Much better. I like subtitles, they're very handy. <laughs> uh oh. Who's there? Red? You're wearing red. Don't make me come over there. Don't make me come over there. Look, I've got an hour of paperwork ahead of me, and I've already had to deal with one asshole tonight, so just... <gasps> Sorry, Bigby. Didn't mean to be an asshole. Beauty? Beauty? Hello, Bigby. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. Why I did swear. you hide? Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well... I didn't know who it was. You can't be too careful these days. That's Beauty and the Beast <laughs> character. No, you can't. Damn it, I'm late. Yeah, this is odd. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. It is. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Why sure. not? You promise? I promise. Sure, why Thank not? Thank you, Bigby. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. All right. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Bigby. Yeah, no, this can't ruin fairy tales for me because Disney makes everything better. And this is just creative output on, well, not output, interpretation on the Brothers Grimm and whoever wrote Beauty and the Beast. It's a French name and I can't pronounce the life of me. But it's really old and it is a fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, desk, suit of armor, mailbox, open, let's have a look in, come on. Been a while since I got any mail. No one likes getting mail. Seventh day in a row. People usually appreciate that. What else is there? Okay, can we, huh, name tag? B wolf off again. Again? Okay, <laughs> use name tag with. 
again? Why? Are you sh <laughs> yeah. How much longer is this gonna go on? Uh, not doing the job. Look at. You think the sheriff would get a permanent listing? Yeah, you would think that. Okay, are we good? Yeah, yeah, we can. We can go this way. All right. Talk to look at. Is he sleeping again? <laughs> Clearly. Hey, you wink. Clearly. Mm, probably for the best. Is that grumble or grimble? <laughs> Touch. Woo. All right. Dust came out of it. Look at. Flycatcher needs to dust this guy. Oh, it was just dust. Alrighty then. Where can we go now? Is the elevator working? What's this? This is nothing. Okay. Let's go up. Just waiting. Let's wait again. Why not? Good, no, it's working. Uh oh. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Oh, right. Haven't seen her. Nope, haven't seen her. Not no. recently. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Okay. Alright, it's not the situation I thought it was. What's going on? This is interesting though. We haven't got to the main story point yet, but... Oh, hello. Alright, slightly nicer than the last place. I want to call it luxury. Big B's apartment. <laughs> Good idea. Damn, should have cracked a window. Do that again. <laughs> okay, what can we do? What's here? What's this? Oh, the refrigerator. Yeah, open. Have a snack. You will. You deserve it. Why do it. I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Yeah, no. Freezer? Yeah, clearly. Huh? Damn it. You gotta do some grocery shopping, lad. What else is here? Nothing else. Uh, no one deserves to live like this. This is Bluebeard folder. Oh, I know that tale. I've read the fairy tale. Bluebeard is a really. Never trusted this guy. Uh, yeah, I've read the fairy tale, and um, I don't want to go through the whole. Well, it's a long, it's a long fairy tale, but there's like a cartoon version of it, like. I want to say Japanese style um, cartoon of it where it explains everything, but it's more fun to read it. <laughs> Very dark it. but fun. <laughs> Probably a bad sign. You don't remember old Chinese food? All right, look at use. Why not? To still work. Should help. Yeah. So I've seen, I read a lot of fairy tales, the original fairy tales, and yeah, like I said, Disney makes everything better because some of the things that if it was kept to the original story wouldn't go past the censors very well. <laughs> Hi. 
How did I not say that first? <sighs> no, not again. What do you mean again? Hey, Colin, get up. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. You need some glamour, Colin? Got a smoke? <laughs> Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. I couldn't. I just couldn't. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have this definitely is pigs. offered a drink, but uh, it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Well, you can't even give them amnesia. I'm not saying it's fair. It's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. No, it wasn't. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. No. Name would you one. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier we with We gave her fifty-eight dollars to help and her. We live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? <laughs> snow White. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went okay. out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Give it to him. You promised it to him already. Probably do you some good. Thanks, Big B.
Come on, baby, get some shut eye. You need it. You really, really do. Well, I met in your bed, but okay. Knock, knock. Uh oh. Okay, who can this be? No one's home. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Hi, right, Snow White. How you doing? Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? What happened? So you do the seven dwarfs? Just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Here we Hi. go. Hello. Oh. Good morning or evening. <laughs> Who's supposed to yeah. be you? <laughs> These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Okay, it's getting interesting. Wolf and Sheriff's clothing. <laughs> oh boy. Miss a toad or... Oh, it's just a jacket. Please just be a jacket, please. Okay, grab. Anything under there? No. Oh. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. <laughs> yeah. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. It's just terrible. So, did you see anyone else? No, no one. No cabs, no voices, Mondays? Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more it, reason maybe. we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I've read the fairy tale. My money's on Bluebeard. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Right. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. Obviously, well, obviously her head was cut off. Let's summon that bit first. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. The jacket gives away. What kind of monster would do this? And again, Snow could have covered her. Okay, the neck. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? An axe, maybe? Maybe something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Okay, and the mouth fix that finally. That stuck out like a sore thumb. Is... Yeah. Remove item. Ugh. It's a ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I.
Ah, a trail, huh? Someone was in a hurry. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? I think let's get more. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. I'm curious. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. Okay, we got the ring. And turn uh, no. over over here where the blood is. What's this? Come on. What's this? Blood trail. Touch blood trail. Can you blood. sniff it? Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Let's look. Anywhere else? You know. Hmm. Well, obviously we went this way. Oh, what's this? Okay, here we are. Just grab a fabric. Fabric, huh? No signs that it's been here long. Like what kind of signs? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Apart from the person who probably did it wore jeans. <laughs> Examine. Just some loose trash. All right. Uh, oh, here we are. There's blood yep, here. More blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. That would do it. Okay. At least we know where they went. Yeah, I really wish I'd cover the head again. Oh, they obviously went this way, so if not this way. Around here. Anything out here? No. Okay. Snow, you got anything to contribute? What's this? Compare fabric. <laughs> what are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. I know that did, but yeah. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Bigby, do you have any idea what's going on? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. That's solid. So someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs King to know. Cole. <laughs> and he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds that we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I'll do that. A long goodbye. <laughs> Poof. 
All right. Um. Oh, hello. What are you blind? Why you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Yeah. Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, Sheriff. Come here, I'll show you some great work. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Pot kettle black. Yes, I see. You, because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's Ichabod. not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, yeah. this is the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. I don't like Your you. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. I really Tell don't like you. Tell you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah. Her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Oh, I hope do you're your next, job, pal. Sir. I really do. We'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. Ah, we didn't get to tell him. You would have just pissed him off more. All How can right. you tell? Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Yeah, well, Crane ain't here. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Smoke away. I'm not going to answer that. Ask that. What He's an asshole. asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? Well, that doesn't sound right. Hello. Is... Is he gone? Aww. Yes, thankfully. Flying monkey. <laughs> so that's where the wine went. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? It's the last thing he needs, believe me. Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? <laughs> uh, not great. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Be Sorry. nice, you need friends. Yeah, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. <laughs> oh, magic mirror. <laughs> I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, okay, even a magic lamp? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Crane's assistant. Hi, 
Yes, I'm just calling to let you know that um, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up for the rest of the day, and he's coming in early for his appointment. Yeah, what kind of appointment? Let's have a looky. Right. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Oh, the genie's free? I don't want to know. <laughs> Worth a try. <laughs> well, not what I have here. Okay, let's talk to the mirror then. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. Who's the fairest of them you all? Know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. Seven years bad luck. There's no need for that. Fine. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay. Woodsman? Since he was Show there? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Okay, what about Buffkin? Show me Buffkin. Is he drinking on the job? Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> okay, now snow. Show me snow why not? White. Why not? Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Come on, he likes her. Yeah, exit. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Here we go. You gotta quit the drinking. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, that's our lucky. Look see at the booksies. What's this? Tower deck. Okay, why not? Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Ah. Why not though? Okay, it was Let's look. We gotta look here. We need a no. We just found a severed head on our doorstep. Let's start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Alright, who's this? That's Red right, Riding Hood, obviously. That's Beauty and the Beast. Seven Torps. <laughs> Big Bad Wolf. Uh, huh. Went in the willows. Don't think it's a fairy tale. Headless horseman. How about you? I've seen this before. The ring? The symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. There is a fairy tale where a witch and a love interest turn into a donkey. Okay, carriage is awfully Cinderella, so that's no good. Okay. Ah, here we are. What? 
I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Do so. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> we look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where's this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairo? I'll go look it up. Alairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Oh, Cat skin. Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. I know, sorry, was tail. A great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in Which the would be the daughter. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Yeah. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Oh, it's a different version of the very tale I read. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. He wasn't a pimp as well, was he? we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. Yeah, past tense. Was. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. Uh, is there anything else we can do? I think. Hang on. Where's the mirror? This is really twisted. I'm enjoying it, but it's really twisted. I want to know what happened to poor Faith. Okay, let's speak to the mirror. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know? Is Faith there? Show me... Show me Faith. Not just a her severed head. Her powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Yep, that's her. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Okay, Prince Lawrence then. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Uh-oh. What's he been doing? That's not good. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. How about this father? Show me... Faith's father, the old king. There he is. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mira. I'm gonna like Nobody this. Right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Oh no. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Toad. You there? Toad, got your glamour yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, shit. Hey! 
Security. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Uh huh. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. If there's people leaving severed heads on the in the street, we don't want to leave them. Oh, what is this twisted? Ugh. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Mm hmm Well, where to first? Uh Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Let's go to Lawrence's apartment. I'm more curious about that. His wife. He deserves to know. You're yeah. right. And Toad's a tough toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. Hope so. We'll have to. The frog or the prince? Hmm. Whoa, I wonder if there's any more fairy tales featuring here that I've known about. <laughs> South Bronx, huh? And I mean, I've read a lot. <laughs> I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. When the magic mirror showed me this apartment, I think I saw a knife inside, covered in what looked like blood. I wasn't expecting that. Uh huh. Well. Like I said, let's not overcomplicate things. You can question him while I look around for it. And if he objects? We are here on official Fabletown business. And we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. <laughs> okay, let's do so. Let's go straight to the apartment. Not knock. Mr. Lawrence? I mean, Prince Lawrence? Uh, open. That's open. Why not? Lawrence, okay. you in there? Probably not. Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Okay, no one to him. Anything else? Can we look through the window? Anything in the box? No. Is there a back way? Aha, a window. Now we're using our noggin. Look through. What's through? Uh oh. Yeah, that's not good. Open. All right, I'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Uh huh. Come on, help me up. Oh, it is bad. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Aw, it looks happy. He's dead, isn't he? Yep. Oh god. We're too late. That makes two people's dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Clearly. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Okay. Alright, uh, examine Lawrence. Bullet wound to the chest by the looks of things. Oh, a knife to the chest. Right. 
Obviously it wasn't suicide. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Ugh, just let us rest. Oh. Dry. He's been there a while. And the flies kind of give it away. That left a mark. Well, yeah. And his shirt. That's the last of his worries. Oh, yeah. Don't ask me how I know this, but I know that coldness. That doesn't really help. It can slow down the decay of a body. They never really look peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. So someone turned the fan on in order to... Well, you know who. Shell casing. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. More. The shell casing? Okay, we got that now with the gun. We need evidence. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, that's it by the looks of things, so. Oh. What's that? Oh, I wonder what this is. Okay, why is it not? There we are. Okay. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Is that the same blade that was used to kill Faith? What's this? Oh, blood. Oh, it's in a pattern. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Yeah. How dry is it? Oh, a little sticky. Hmm. Not this. You see him tap it together. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Obviously. Huh? Not this. Oh, bullet hole. Bullet passed through the chair. Okay, we've got that now. He was going with bullets. No, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is feels strange. So he was standing up. What are you thinking? The slug should have gone over there, right behind him, not here. Right through the chair too. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. Or we don't have the whole story. Okay, let's look here. Open. That's a bed, isn't it? Ugh. Son of a... What is that? It's stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. 
a fake suicide note, maybe? I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. What oh. the hell? What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? We found your note. They made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out, so I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. <laughs> At least that's how I think it happened. Not the actual hell. Fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. Doing what? I Doing did what? what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to try. Yeah, her about down. that. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. I couldn't no, lie to him. No, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Georgie Lawrence, I uh... Do you Are you expecting anyone? I'll see who it is. No, wait. Don't look through the letter box. Don't look through the letter box. I need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, big people will arrest them. Yeah. Think about your wife. Give me back. It's getting good. Just in case. Good idea. Okay. Uh oh, who's this? I don't know who that is. Just stay quiet, Lawrence. Yeah, I do so. What's he doing? What's he doing? What are you doing? You a troll? Okay, now's a good time. Hey! <gasps> Stay here! No! Huh. 
No. Well, this is new. Who is that? What's going on? All right, here another hey, scenario. Stop. Leave me alone. All right, it's one of these now. KTAs. Mash, 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 Poor fella though in the back. Alright, uh, well this one's obviously opened. Oh no it's not. Wrong one. Dang it. Uh, examine. Oh he's there. Damn. Ah. Almost gave you the slip. Alright. Jeez. That could have gone better. Okay, this could work in our favour. Yeah, I would scream too if a bloke just ran through me. Might. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, I'm on caps, that's why. Okay. Oh. Okay, not bad. Ease up, Bippy. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch. Hey, who are you? Just who are you? Run after you. Who are you? <sighs> what? Who are you? Listen, man. I'm a private investigator. I doubt that. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My no. employer is looking to ask him a few questions too. Who's He's your boss. employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier Tweedle to and Tweedledum? I'm D. He's dumb. Uh... D and dumb. I see. Alice in Wonderland now. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. You could help him. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Alright, okay. This works. <laughs> this is a long episode. Okay, <laughs> this is really long. I've been playing for over an hour now. I'm really into the story. I'm very curious. I love like fairy tale meets reality, almost you no know, real life. Wow, <laughs> I'm so glad I waited for this. <laughs> and I love how the fact that I know all these characters, but and. I get the old refer old references, old fairy tales from the Brothers Grimm that I used to read, and I know like storylines and um, I'm a little bummed out with faith and everything because, well, you understand, but I'm enjoying it. It's it's brilliant. So like, well done, well put out. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to it. And with that, I'm going to end it here. If you liked it, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more. See you soon.